Good everyone, welcome back to my vanilla Minecraft Let's Play. I'm Dibs82 and this is episode 92 and it's season 3 reboot. Today we are going to do a little bit of everything really, nothing really major, no major projects that we're going to do. Um, I'm literally just going to do a little bit of housekeeping I guess. Um, first things first, we are actually going to, I'm just going to turn my headset down a little touch just in case it's too loud in my ear. Um, we are going to feed the cows, feed the livestock get our livestock back up um, and just do random stuff. I'm going to give you a progress report actually as well today on my storage system. I've done a little bit off camera but I've well, actually done quite a lot and it's it's taken me several trips to the desert, put it that way, and I still need to take a lot more. I need more potatoes because I'm running out of food here. I've been living on off of baked potatoes on the game for quite some time now because uh, Things like beef and stuff is quite um, a luxury for me at the moment because my my pens are absolutely pathetic. I mean, check this out, pathetic. And someone's done something there. I don't remember there being two chests there. I'm going to take a look in a second. But that's fine as long as it's more storage, I guess. But yeah, I'm just gonna. If you need pigs, come to mine and grab some. Oh, cool. Speaking of meat, okay, thanks. So we've got uh, Eggy Fart, or Edgy Far his name is. We call him Ed Eggy Fart because it's just easier. Uh, let's just take a look at all these eggs. Yeah, someone's cleared that out. Oh, crikey. Yeah, we're doing well on eggs. So we're not hurting. I took one pig from your island to start breeding. Uh, that's fine. Pigs and anything like uh, cows, I'm going to breed you too. Sheep pigs and all that jazz they can actually be um, you can ship them out as we've learned in in boats which is pretty cool I'm um, just gonna grab uh, we I've still got the loot from last episode actually we're gonna need to start cooking that um, I've been down in the mine shafts to, uh, to get loads of lava because when this thing is really good for doing bulk cooking so if you're doing bulk cooking, just whack some lava buckets in there and let it do its stuff because a lava bucket can do a uh, hundred items. So yeah, that's that's a lot. That is a lot. Have you seen my island? Uh, I will take a look some other time. Um, so yeah, we've we've I've been really really kind of busy. Doing certain projects, though, that's that's the only that's the only thing. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to actually do. We got what, sixty items there. Okay, that that's fine. It's not like lava's hard to come by. We found some down by the farm last episode. That's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm using OBS at the moment, and I'm using a new editing program which works really well with it. And I'm absolutely pleased with the results so far. Touch wood. Um, yeah, it seems that um, it's so. It, I'm, I'm going to be using a Sony Movie Editor. Uh, sorry, Sony Mu Movie Studio, and it's like the sweet version, or the it's got platinum and loads of extras that I don't understand. So I might as well just take them as well. It's not a problem. Um, so yeah, I've got a new editing program, and I can't wait to keep trying it out because you know it's it's a new toy. Uh, speaking of which, we're just going to unload a load of junk. Um, I'm totally out of cobble. I've been really, really hammering building off camera, um, even though that it may not come across as I've done all that much. I have done quite a fair fair bit, and we're going to need these ender pearls actually. We're going to save them. And we're not going to go to the end portal. We are actually going to use it for some ender chests at some point. Um, a couple of my builds require them. One of them being the ocean monument thing over there, and the other one's going to be the storage room. But before before we go to the storage room, actually, let me just see if I've got any wood kicking around or any sticks. That's another thing that I it, it, I keep finding that I'm running out of all the time is wood. I know I've got a load of trees to kicking around here but it's just one of those things it's just like it's one of those tedious chores that you don't want to do unless you have to. Um, I'm just gonna grab three logs that's fine. 
for the enchanting that we want to do. I'm just going to turn them onto sticks. Because um, we've got 22 levels and I don't want to put them to waste. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make some iron tools and some diamond tools. So I'm going to make one diamond pickaxe, one sword, and the rest can be iron. As you can see, my personal stash is not very good, but the actual iron farm, is, we still ain't got past the second chest yet because uh, people are, are using the farm, which is, is good. That's what it's there for. Um, but obviously the farm's taking a while to catch up. I do also need to add um, the rest of the, 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 the remaining seven pods. Yeah, I've only done five of them and that was hard work. So I'm going to craft that. And while I'm actually thinking about it, we're going to need some more wood. Because uh, last episode I mentioned that there's one thing we haven't crafted uh, on camera. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to chip away some of this wood. Just so we've got it. Like so, ready to harvest. Eventually I'm going to make an automatic tree farm. I've seen Tango Text design where you AFK, you kind of AFK and you dig down. You, you chop the wood downwards and it kind of flips you around. You can just do that forever. And that way you can, you can harvest wood at your leisure. So, what you do is put a bit of iron in the middle. And then you do a Y shape. Oh no no you do no 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 sorry you put the you put the iron up the top there then create the Y shape and that gives you a shield so we're gonna name it no we're not we're gonna make an item frame have I got any leather kicking around I haven't oh my god I haven't got any leather I'm really I'm building a massive storage room right I'm building an absolute mega storage room and I don't even have any leather how bad is that you can actually enchant shield, so we can probably enchant that as well. Why not? Um, make an enchanted shield. It's not something you see every day. And have we got lapis in here? I have. That's good. Lots of enchanting been going on. Um, almost a chest, half a chest worth. Um, let's see what we got first. We've got 22 levels. What level can we get up to in here? 24. So we need to put another torch down, which I don't have. But now I do. Um... Uh, Say here. Uh, we'll get rid of one of these just to bring it down a little bit. I need to make an automatic one. 20 would do. 20 do. Now we want efficiency 3. Um, let's try a sword. See what happens with a sword. What have we got over 20? Unbreaking. I mean, it's not really great, is it? Probably unbreaking on. You can't enchant a sword? Oh, no, no, no. You have to use a book. You have to use books to enchant these things, otherwise you can't enchant them. So what have we got here? We've got Unbreaking, Knockback, Bane of Arthropods. Uh Yeah, not really much choice there, is it, really? Um, but what we can do is, we can be a bit cheaty, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to make a... <clears throat> the best thing to do is, if there's not any enchantments that you actually would like, what you want to do is you want to just... Craft some dud ones, okay? So we're going to craft, let's just say, three pickaxes of iron pickaxes and three uh, swords, okay? Now, the reason you do this is once you've, you could even go as far as putting it on a stone pickaxe if you really don't want to use the iron, but uh, let's take, I'll give you an example, right? I put my diamond pickaxe in and efficiency three is the level 20 enchant, right? It's going to cost me. Uh, three levels right let's put that in still I'm breaking three but we're gonna put efficiency two on it and, and and spend the minimum amount okay so this is gonna be one enchant uh, one level of um, one level down here and we're gonna put that on a on a dud pick let's put this back in here now remember the th level 20 was efficiency three yeah, it's still the same but that's changed. Okay, so let's try again. Let's try another one. I'm breaking one. Okay, we now got 20 levels, so now it's now it's going to matter. Still efficiency three. So I'm going to spend that actually on a diamond pickaxe. Okay, it's not amazing, but we like I say, you can add and combine the the you know the enchantments to make whatever you want. That's fine. 
So what have we got now? Efficient efficiency three again, but we don't have that much enchanting. What about sword? Oh, they're horrible. So let's get rid of some of these. Knockback. Definitely don't like knockback. It's all right, I guess. Um, what else have we got? Sharpness 2 would be good. Sharpness 3 would be fantastic. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, oh, hang on. We're just gonna literally spend the minimum on these ones here. And we can always combine them later. That's fine. Looting, and that's level 20. Oh. I'm gonna leave that. Because then what we could do is we could put that on that. But we haven't got the amount of, we ain't got the right amount of levels. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave them up here, ready to be enchanted. So we're just going to leave them here. Uh, we're going to take that back with us, leave that here. And we'll take these down to my little uh, my spot where I combine them all, basically. So we've got sharpness and not bad. Not terribly brilliant, to be fair. <laughs> You need level 30, really. That's where you're going to pump them out. The good thing about the enchanting system now is you don't use as many levels in one smack. It used to be, at one point, you used to use 30 levels for an enchantment. And it was like, that was ridiculous. So now we've got... I don't know why we've got them in there. They're, they're pants. So we've got the full ones down here. I've still got my cold, you know. Right, efficiency. Knockback 1. Sharpness one. Uh, I'm going to put you up here because you are done, pretty much. Yeah, I might as well use you. And I use that when I go digging. I try not to use my best stuff where possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to use efficiency two pickaxe there. Because especially if I'm wandering around, if you're out and about, um, you can quite easily lose all your best gear. So I kind of keep my best diamond gear at home. We've now made a shield. Um, let's actually quickly pop back up there. I know you can put mending or unbreaking on it. I know, what's this say? Divs82, when you next record, I hope that I could join you. P.S. I got, I got you a gift. Where is it? Where's my gift then? Where's my gift? What is it? What's my, what's my gift? Is it in here? I can't see it. Okay. I don't know. Eggy Fart. He uh, left me a gift. I don't know where it is though. Unless it's up here. In one of these. We want... Um, I'm sure he'll tell me at some point. Right, we're going to need... Unbreaking. I haven't got unbreaking. Oh well, doesn't matter. Whatever. You can enchant them anyway to a degree. I think there's only a couple you can put on. Mending one of them and unbreaking. Makes sense because that's the only one you can do. So if you put it in your offhand, you can block. I can now block, which is really, really handy. So, yeah. I've been wanting to make one of them on camera for quite some time, but I keep forgetting. Uh, I don't need any more iron, so put this away. Um, I'm just going to sort out my invent and I'll be right back. Okay, my spuds are done, and we are going to get to pretty much the last part of what I was planning to show you guys today. I wanted to do a few enchantments on camera, because it's not something I do very much often, and... Oh, I forgot I was cooking them up. There we go. Got a nice little stash. Look at the diamonds I've got coming on here. I'm not even finished. Right, um, so yeah. The only trouble is, you kind of have to use a bucket, so that's, that's not... As you can see, I've got some glass cooking up. There's nowhere near enough in there. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll cook some more up at some point. Um, so yeah, um, also what I've been doing off camera as well, um, in the most recent of days, I've obviously now done a lot of work. Before I started the farm, I've done a lot of work down here. Uh, creeper got me and it's all, I still haven't repaired it yet. I really should repair that. I'm not going to do it now. Right, so... Let's go down here. So as you remember, I was digging it out. I still haven't finished, but you're about to be pleasantly surprised because I'm going to face this way, maybe this way. 
so you don't see anything. So you remember me not digging anything out? Well, this time I've been busy, I've even started progress. So this is my mine shaft, and then when I turn around, you can see the start of something beautiful. Here we go. Not you. Actually, this is a good chance to show off this shield. You can kind of see it now, but it's, I'm not done yet. So let's quickly put this shield in my offhand. So you can block him. If you block him, he gets stunned, kind of goes back, and then you can swipe him. Bang, swipe. Bang, swipe. Okay, a little bit more tricky than I expected. So here we go. Uh, ruined by the baby zombie there. But we've got the start of my storage room, my mega storage room. This is going to be the floor. And underneath the floor, this is below ground. Um, eventually, this is all going to be covered up. Um, but, and it goes three ways. So let's get up here so we can see better. As you can see, I've got all my stash down here. This is going to be the item elevator, which is pretty much working right now, actually. I could probably show you that in a second. Um, but this is this is practically it. This is going to be the hallways, and each side of these hallways, so here, and here, and here, and here, and once again, here, and here, are going to be full up with chests. It's going to be, it's going to be divided into two. Is he going to come up and get me? They don't seem to come up and get me very very well. They don't track me very often. Take this. Yeah. I love that noise. Okay. So, this is the item elevator. And it works. I've tested it. It's a bit more glitchy than it used to be. I used to remember it used to go quite fluently up the tube. I don't know if there's a specific design that you can do to make it go quite smooth. But... Nowadays, I've seen the item elevators that work. They kind of go, eh, 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 whereas they used to just go, which it's kind of annoying, but it still works. It still functions. So, what happens is, is if you've only got say one item in there, right, it won't do anything with it. It will take it away from you, but you'll notice nothing happens. Okay. So then what you've got to do, let's get rid of the shield for a second. Um, then what you've got to do is, if it's below, say, 45 items, it goes on a comparator. So once the, it reaches a certain amount of items, it will then go up on its own. But if you've only got a couple of items, um, you need to press the button manually. So what you do is you press the button. You can hear the pistons. And you should see, very glitchy. It looks very glitchy, but then up there you can now see that the zombie flesh is now up there, ready to go where it needs to go. However, it's not been programmed in any shape or form. So we literally got the very skeleton, like literally the bare, bare skeleton of this place. This place is going to have so many chests, I'm not, I'm going to get sick of cutting wood. Um, put it that way. So I've got a lot of wood to, to cut. So a lot of chests, a lot of hoppers. That's why like down here there's going to be a phenomenal amount of hoppers on its own and I've got to light it up so there's going to need to be lighting down here as we're going to get mob spawns so I'm going to I need to probably use I'm probably going to use sea lanterns to be fair I'm probably going to use sea lanterns or glowstone I don't know which I'm probably the easiest quickest route at the at present time will be the sea lanterns because then I can just whip up that 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 uh, ocean monument far, uh, guardian farm and then and then farm them from that but yeah this is going to be a task that's going to be going on for quite some time and I've I've only just started building it um, I probably spent getting everything this all this together I probably spent an hour to an hour and a half maybe two at a push um, I've done several trips to the um, desert as you can see I need uh, sandstone, not actually sand. At first I was collecting sand and I thought, hold on a minute, four sand equals one of these blocks, so I might as well just go and... I found a, a, a desert temple, so I started just knocking that down. Um, there's like, you know, there's like a carcass of a, of a temple left. 
So yeah, I've been really busy. As you can see, all my stash, so wood and all that jazz. I got a long way to go, guys. This is nowhere near finished. Nowhere near finished. So yeah, I might do a little bits on camera here and there, but uh, for for the most part, this is a big project. Um, I will come back to this at some point when I've made a little bit more progress. Maybe do a couple of the floors. Um, yeah, this is going to hold a phenomenal amount of items and automatically sort them as well. So you plonk them in that chest, you're good to go. So my house above ground, my house is kind of that way. I've marked it out with kind of an S shape. So that's south. That that S means south, even though it's if you look on that it says north. Uh, that's actually south. But this is the south of my of, of this storage room. It's the south. It's the bottom of the storage room, not the actual way it's facing. That is actually that way somewhere. I can probably make tunnels to my house, uh, which would be good. So I can come down into storage. That'd be absolutely amazing. So yeah, it's coming on well since you last saw it, isn't it? And also, as you can see, I've done a lot of digging. Look at this, a crazy phenomenal amount. Look, it's mental. Mental, mental, mental. Um, yeah, took me a while. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode, giving you another rundown on what's been going on. I've been doing some real hefty projects um, to the point where, you know, it's crazy. I'm putting a lot of time into it, and yeah, I want to get this finished. I definitely want to get this finished. I'm. This is like my my main goal to make this work. Um, kind of taken a step back from say the go the golem farm I need to do the guardian farm at some point because I'm going to rely on it a little bit I'm going to need it um, but for now the iron golem farm has taken kind of a back seat I'm doing the classic starting too many project kind of deal but I will go back to it I need we need to get more iron faster um, especially when I start tucking into this project I'm going to need all the hoppers that God sends uh, or the irons can provide iron golems can provide and yeah what can I say I don't think the farm's going to keep up, so we need to enhance that, and I need to look into relocating the villagers, and yeah, it's going to be a bit of a mission, but it's fun. I like it. I like a challenge. So guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this episode, and I shall see you in the next one. Take it easy.